It's a prominent heavyweight who suffered a loss his last time out, but he's back in the ring in Tony Yoka. Yoka will fight veteran Carlos Takam. Takam, who was born in Cameroon. That's why we have the Cameroon flag there, but he's primarily lived and his whole boxing career anyway in France. This is a fight in Paris where, where Takam is a known commodity. Yoka is the former Olympic heavyweight champ. Under over here at eight and a half rounds, Dan Rayfield. Give me a thought on Yoka, a prospect that lost uh, his last time out about a year ago. This is a comeback fight against a veteran. Thoughts here and a prediction on this one. This is an interesting fight because uh, Yoka came into the professional ranks with the gold medal as the super heavyweight from the 2016 Olympics. When you win the super heavyweight gold medal, you're supposed to become the heavyweight champion. That's just sort of expected. You're the number one heavyweight, super heavyweight in the Olympics. There's heavyweights, which are essentially cruiserweights because the weight limit is closer. Super heavyweight is what we consider in professional boxing heavyweights. But anyway, he was the guy that won at the top level of the biggest weight class in the Olympics. Uh, so like a Vladimir Klitschko, like a Lennox Lewis, et cetera, Anthony Joshua, guys who were Olympic gold medal winners as super heavyweights who became the heavyweight champion as professionals. Uh, he has had a kind of a rocky career. He's had some layoffs. He did have a failed drug test, but what he had was he missed the drug test more than once, which then counts and you end up getting right. suspended. So he had time off. So, you know, he never tested positive because he missed the test that impacted his schedule. Uh, then, as you mentioned, in his last fight last year, he suffered an upset decision loss to Martin Bacol from the UK. Uh, people may not be aware, Bacol is the brother of uh, the now former cruiserweight champion, Alunga Makabu, who lost on the Jake Paul, Tommy Fury undercard recently to Badu Jack. So that that was a loss, but a surprising loss. McCall's pretty good, but it was still a surprising loss. So now he comes back and he's taken on the well-traveled veteran, Carlos Takam, who has been in the ring with everybody, who has faced lots of good opponents. Uh, he's coming off two losses in a row where he was stopped in a fight against Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce, by the way, was beaten by Tony Yoka in a controversial decision in the gold medal final of the Olympic Games. His last fight, Takam, he lost a decision against Makhmadouf. He also has been in the ring with other guys. He challenged against Anthony Joshua, for example, for the heavyweight title, lost that by a stoppage. Uh, but Takam can handle himself. Takam is a good veteran professional. Uh, you got to beat a guy less Car like Carlos Takam if you think you're going to become the heavyweight champ of the world. Um, so even though Takam is now in his early 40s and he's certainly long in the tooth and he's been stopped, you know, uh, here and there. Uh, he's still a solid pro, and so I think Yoko wins this fight. It's probably a, it's a big deal in France because even though, like you mentioned, Takam is not uh, originally from France, he's fought his whole career there. He's been based in France forever, um, and so locally, it's a big deal in Paris. I just think that Yoko knows it's a big deal. He's probably the fresh, he's definitely the fresher fighter, the better fighter. He's going to win the fight. The question is, does he win it by a knockout and win? Uh, that's the tough one. So I, I didn't pick I didn't pick the, the knockout or the decision. I just think that Tony Oka wins the fight. I took the money line. But I did go with the over because I think that even if he gets stopped, it's going to be like some of his past losses where he's going to hang in there. He's going to go a long way. So he may get stopped late. He also may make okay. it to the final bell. But in the end, your man Tony Oka is going to have his hand raised. All right, so you went money line. I'm going to go a step further. He knows he's got to be impressive here. I think Yoka probably, after a little feeling out process, may step it up and will go for the knockout. So I will take the knockout as we lock in the picks. Dan is on the money line for Tony Yoka Saturday afternoon in the U.S., Saturday night in Paris. And I will go KO. You will go money line. You're not getting great value there. You will, however, go over I am going to slightly disagree. I think this ends earlier than eight and a half rounds. So you and I are on opposite sides of the over-under in this fight. Uh, there's one more question here, that once Yoka, who was undefeated, not really tested, once Bacoli tested him, he didn't show a lot of heart. I still remember in his own corner, his own corner was saying, you know, let's go. What's Is there something wrong with you? Like, I don't know if he was sick that night, Dan, or what happened. There are some real questions about this right here, about whether he has it here that he needs to try to answer. And I think he will try to answer those, Tony Yoka, on, on Saturday night. One more thought? Tony Yoka has frustrated me a lot. I've watched literally every single one of his professional fights. I mean, I'm such a degenerate that before his <laughs> fights... Now, this fight is on, just so the folks know, this fight is going to be available for... 
uh, a live stream on ESPN Plus in the United States. Tony is associated with Top Rank. Uh, but before he was with Top Rank, I'm such a degenerate. We had like the French channel on our cable and I would order the French <laughs> channel when his fights were on and then I would cancel it. So I could, I would watch the fight, but then cancel because I didn't need it for all, oh. you know, a year, oh, right. year round or a month round. But anyway, uh, by so, the way, by the way, I have to interrupt. Parlez-vous, do you speak French or did you have the subtitles or you're just watching a fight and you don't care about the commentary? Okay. I mean, I like to hear English commentary, but you know how I many, I've watched <laughs> fights in, in Japanese and Chinese and Spanish, obviously French, you name it, Italian. Uh, By the way, I don't know this. Is knockout or KO still the same in France, or is it different? Uh, I, it might be a different word. I don't know. Listen, the you best in the, in the French fights, when there's a really good action sequence, and I think everybody understands this. I'll go back to the very famous fight of the year many years ago between Samsak Machapur, and uh, this was a great fight at 122 pounds against uh, Sith Watchel from Thailand. And I didn't understand a word of French. But when the announcers are watching one of the greatest action fights of all time, and in the middle of the round, they start going, ooh, la, 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 la. You ooh, know la, fight. la, ooh, la, la. Yeah, I so love anyway, it. So anyway, so I'm a degenerate, and so I've watched all of uh, Tony Yoka's <laughs> fights, and he just drives me absolutely freaking crazy because he is so maddeningly inconsistent. He's built perfectly. He's got the gold medal. You know he's obviously got talent. Uh, you look at the record of the guys he beat as amateurs that have come on into the pro scene. And he's looked great in some fights against regular mm -hmm. type opponents. And then even against fights against, in, in fights against regular opponents that he's won, you walk away going, ah, oh, man, this guy should be so much more than he is. And then the layoffs with the, the, the issues with the drug testing. And now you're in, now he's in with a real guy. Now, Takam is not what he once was. But I have to say, the Tony Yoka that is so inconsistent when I see him, if he's fighting a Takam from like three or four years ago, I'd give Tony Yoka a real serious chance to lose. I like him to win, but I just hope we see a more consistent, professional type of style and, 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 and performance from him against a guy that, by all rights, he should knock out. We'll see what happens. But, uh, you know, this is an important fight for him because it's the best name that he's ever faced. Even if you look at, like, a Martin Bacoli and think he might be better based on where they are in their careers, beating Takam is important to do for him. All right, so you and I agree on the win. I'm going to go KO. You're going money line. I'm going with the under. I think he gets the impressive win. He's got to show something here. Uh, last fight was a loss somewhat nine months ago, something like that. Been, been inactive for a little while. Got to do something against the veteran here in this fight. All right. <laughs>